Hi YouTube, uh, this is Relic1974. This uh, video has been sitting on my back burner for a while and I'm finally getting a chance to uh, narrate it. Um, I'm making this video basically to simulate the best I can um, the prediction that Terrell03 has made that a heavy mass object is on the heels of Elenin. Uh Basically, according to Terrell, this uh, heavy mass object, as he calls it, is taking the same trajectory orbit path that Comet Elenin took. And I have set up the parameters of this heavy mass object that I am uh, pointing to now um, with JPL data using the same orbital uh, parameters that Elenin, uh, the same parameters that Elenin took. And uh, this is a lengthy video, but there is a lot to discuss. Um, I will just be narrating this as uh, I am pointing things out. On the screen right now, you're seeing the simulation is running. Um, one second in real time is equal to about seven days on the simulator. Um, right now, the object is outside of Pluto orbit. Um, its total velocity is 100, well, 1.45 kilometers per second. And as we get into this video, we're going to see how this begins to affect um, the outer planets and then the inner planets. And uh, we'll be seeing the uh, speed increase as it gets closer to the sun. Uh, disturbances in the orbits of the planets as it comes closer to them. And we'll be looking at this from different camera angles as well. As you can see, this is slightly below the ecliptic. Coming in the same way Elenin was. And it will come on its close approach on the inside of the solar system. It will um, come between Mar Mars and Earth orbit. As you can see right now in the simulation, the heavy mass object is out at 75.1 AU. Here's a close-up of the object. Um, I just used a uh, standard texture. Um, not saying that this is what the object looks like, but uh, I just let it pick the default. Uh, star texture. I did base this object off of a known star uh, which is the proper way to do these things in sandbox. What I did is I started with Bernard star and I gave it the mass 0.16 the mass of our own Sun and from there I just changed the orbital parameters to match that of Comet Elenin. Uh, now we're going to focus back on the center of our solar system. And excuse me for the sniffles, I've uh, had a cold all week. The red line is showing you the projected path of the high mass object. Now I will periodically go I will zoom into the inner solar system to observe the orbits of the terrestrial planets. As you can see here, Saturn is already being perturbed. It should have a nice circular orbit. But see right there? That object is already starting to tug at Saturn. Um, right about where the cursor's at now. Same with Uranus. 
And as you see, as you get farther out into the gas giants, because they are closer to this high mass object that is uh, being simulated, um, the planets that it is closest to will be the ones that will be the most disturbed. Um, even with a high mass object, gravity is not going to play a huge significant, it's not going to make a huge significant impact until it gets closer to the uh, to the bodies in question. Um, that's why you're not seeing the outer planets being thrown out of their orbits right now. They're only being disturbed. Um, there's the orbit of Sedna. Actually, the orbit of Sedna is being slightly perturbed. Let's focus on the heavy mass object once more. It is now at 67 AU away. It has picked up speed. At, uh, it is now traveling at 2.33 kilometers per second. And take a look at Neptune and Uranus. Their orbits are becoming more and more um, unstable. They're not circular the way they would be if that heavy mass object were not there. Saturn is still pretty circular, um, but I expect that to change as the object comes closer to the inner solar system. Jupiter is still almost a perfect circle. That is its projected uh, orbit. And things will get very interesting when the object uh, reaches Pluto orbit. Um, that's when you're going to start seeing a lot of changes. Taking a look at the inner solar system. Um, Mars is slightly perturbed. Earth is upset just a little bit, mm -hmm. but it would be measurable. The inner planets, not so much, as the heavy mass object is still pretty far out there. As you can see, Mercury still has a nice circular orbit. So does Venus. And we'll get back to the heavy mass object in a second and see uh, how much speed it has picked up and what effect it is having on the outer planets. Put our focus back on the heavy mass object. 66.2 AU away. Now I've skipped ahead in time a little bit, about 20 years probably from the previous frame. At this time the object, the heavy mass object, is now 52.4 AU away. Its speed is um, 3.6 kilometers per second. So you can see how much uh, the speed is really picking up as it gets closer and closer to the Sun which is what you would expect from a object of this type there's just a little um, perspective from Uranus orbit now we're fixing to see how this high mass object is affecting the outer planets. Uranus is uh, pretty off kilter right now. Let's take another look at the inner planets. Earth is still in a pretty stable orbit. 
Mars is getting perturbed, as you can see right there. Venus, still pretty circular. Mercury seems to be not disturbed whatsoever. But you got to realize it's under full control of the sun, gravitational control. Now our heavy mass object is getting very close to Pluto orbit. <clears throat> 